Hello everyone, this is Linda from Linda Hardwick Designs. Today I'm here to show you how to assemble the teapot uh, clock kit. Uh, this will be part one. Um, so what we're having here is we have a piece A and a piece B that I've already um, adhered together to make for a much stronger clock more durable and you have PC and that'll be for the uh, clock face. Now what what I've done here like I said I have adhered it together with a three-in-one glue. Just grab this here three-in-one beacon three-in-one and it seems to be the best one um, strong enough for uh, to hold together two pieces of chipboard and I use the zip drive and no I don't uh, work for them uh, uh, I just believe that uh, Beacon has really good glue and you can pretty much get them anywhere um, okay so what I'm going to begin to do is you're going to trace and cut out um, a front and a back for piece A and B and you're going to cut a piece for piece C. Now I've already done that. I've got piece A and I'm using um, Graphic 45 paper, that Botanical Tea, the new one out. And as you can see I've cut all the holes and this is what I'm going to use for the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, adhere this paper Oh, I have inked the edges. It is sometimes easier to go ahead and ink your edges first. So I've done that on both pieces. Now this will be AB now, this piece. So I'll go ahead and adhere my paper on top. And I like to use the zip dry when I'm just adhering um, paper. This is actually quite a nice paper too. Okay, so I'm just going around and about, I don't know, half an inch around. And here we go. I don't know what happened to my music. Oh, here it is. Okay, and just make sure you really have good coverage. And you have to be kind of quick with this uh, zip dry because it does dry very fast. Um, the three in one, uh, you can, you have some give, you have some time with that. It just doesn't dry quite as fast. This is already drying, and then you adhere the paper. Okay, it looks like it's pretty good. I'm just going to grab a baby wipe and like to use that just for the seepage if there is any. And then you're going to take a bone folder once you've got it on there right looks like it's good and then I'm going to burnish out towards the edges and there is a bit of seepage which is not bad better to have too much than too little You can always, you know, lift the, check the edges, and if they lift, then you just add a little bit more zip dry. All the way out to the edges. You just have to be very careful. I've got a bit of seepage there. But the width of the uh, zip dry, it does just uh, roll off. 
like there. It's very good. This is absolutely gorgeous paper. This graphic 45, you can't go wrong with it. There we go. And we'll just burnish again. And you can do the other side. bit of water there but it'll dry and then we're going to add some more zip dry to the other side crazy with this glue a bit, but like I said, it's fine. It's fine if you do. Don't go too close to the circle because you don't want it gummed up for when you add your clock movement. And there we go. We're going to add that piece there. That will just dry. It's just, uh, just wet, my wet wipe was leaning up against it. Make sure those edges are moved up there. There we go. A little bit of seepage, which is no big deal. And this is what you do with the zip dry. It just rolls right off. Wonderful stuff. Okay. I'm just going to lift this up to make sure it's perfect. And then we're going to burnish. A little bit of seepage there. But I'd rather have too much than too little, because the edges do lift if you if you don't. Okay. That'll just dry clear. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. It's it's good if you can just set this aside. But uh, for the sake of the video, I won't do that. And I'm going to ink the edges because Graphic 45 tends to have a white core. And I just, I, I don't know, I think giving it, um, inking the edges just gives it a really nice finished look. If you see what I mean, it's really quite nice. It's my laundry beeping. Okay, just gonna do the edges here. And I also have a little makeup sponge I use for the edges that are hard to get to and there is quite a few on this certain clock here because there's a lot more detail than some of my other clocks so there we go I just love a teapot in the kitchen or it could be a coffee pot you know it just depends on how you're going to um, decorate it, right? Could have it looking like a coffee pot. 
and the inside edges. You want to give that a good, good edge there, a good um, coverage. You can see, just like that look. And I inked already in, in that in this. I think I'm gonna just add a little bit more. It's nice these these makeup brushes because you can get in little areas. Okay, and then I'm gonna just go back to using my ink applicator and go all the way around. It's really nice. I hope you're enjoying this. This is, I am absolutely batty about clocks, um, but I really hope you like them too. And they're such a nice gift and not so expensive uh, that you break the bank with it. Uh, I think I have this pretty well done. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up my mess here a bit, and what I'm going to do now is, well what I've done already, I'm going to set this aside to dry a bit, and I'm going to work on this PC. And what I have done is I've put, cut around, traced and cut around a piece, and I have embossed it. I don't know if you can see that. And I am going to, I put it through this iron, if I didn't say that already. And I'm just going to peel it off. My Zyron is the five inch one. So it's quite, uh, quite a bit bigger than the tiny ones. And then we're going to line up the holes and the edges and we're going to burnish Zyron's pretty darn good and then I'm going to ink the edges Okay, and I'm going to adhere this piece. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I have um, included a, uh, a clock face. It won't be this one because uh, um, this belongs to Marianne uh, Creatables. But I have uh, ordered... Um, uh, designed and ordered my own clock face that I will be including in the kit and you will be able to ink it uh, with your ink pad and your ink applicator um, any color you want so I will be including and it's called a clockwise die and it's made by moi Linda Hardwick designs now what I'm doing here is I take my bone folder. I don't know if you have a, um, what? It looks like I'm running out of time. I'll have to come back and do a part two. So I'll be back and thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.